Hello and welcome to my new YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Dave and I am the creator of the Derby Blade. Now some of you may remember the car from 2008 when it featured on the front cover of Golf Plus magazine, which sadly no longer exists. And practical performance, retro rides, and yeah, it was a popular car back in the day. Um, but the story behind it, you know, that I was not a talented engineer or mechanic. I was still very young. And I built the car with zero fabrication skills, just using bits of scrap, whatever I could find kicking around, a few bits and bobs off of eBay. But it worked and everybody loved it. It was different. Today, it's not quite as different as what it was back then. There's a lot of creative people out there now. But I figured, well, let's build the car again, give it some justice. It deserves to be better than what it was. I started rebuilding the car quite a while ago, but work commitments have put the project on hold for about six years. But I'm starting to get some more free time now, so I've decided to pick it back up. And yeah, I decided I'll document it with a YouTube channel so you can all see and enjoy. There's lots to do still. This episode is gonna be dedicated to fabricating the rear suspension. Originally, it was just like a normal car with a coilover, upper turret, in the wheel arch, but I decided to bring the coilovers into the car using push rods. Again, I'd never done this before, so I had to figure it all out from scratch, and I cocked up a few times, but it's worked and it looks good. Next things to be building are uh, pedal box installation, seat installation, lots of little bits and bobs in between, and then under the bonnet we'll be turbocharging the, the fire blade engine, remaking the mounts, intercooler, converting it to throttle bodies, lots and lots and lots and lots. So there's lots to see, lots to video. I will point out, as I am not an engineer, I am also not a YouTuber. So I won't be releasing a video every Friday. Um, I just don't have the time to do that. So they will be sort of monthly, maybe, as and when. And I hope you enjoy. Oh, also, I should point out, I don't like being on camera, so you won't see much of me, but you'll hear me. Um, that'll have to do, I'm afraid, so sorry about that. Enjoy. <laughs> Yo, less ego and more soul Trying to make it clear like a sore throat They too concerned about my wardrobe But they going broke We have been praying for it, only Lord knows Just got an invoice, sh had about four O's Pick the locks when the doors close This is my house, fuck a foreclose We staying in control, f the hormones Come outside the hood, look like a war zone Come fuzz my Check everything, watch your jawbone Back then they used to call her jawbone We was little freaks watching porno Going crazy with the hormones Now we paying car notes Lighting up like charcoals Lost a couple homies But I meet them at the crossroads Ice on the hoodies Gotta ship them out like cargo Back in high school Rock the polo with the cargoes Take a trip to dad Grandma Ursi had the car for I need like six rings Like the bulls in Chicago yeah. Cause we be out here three peating Pumping fan, they hard, you can hear beating Schooling all them and we still teaching Wanna talk biz, we can set the meeting Light us up, yeah, we still chiefing You be lucky if you still breathing Always think before you start speaking With yourself, you be still beefing Cause they ain't real, they just real misleading Trying to read me, but you misreading Yeah, we in the bunker Rolling up some skunk up Laying down tracks, you can hear the hunger Every day is numbered and we ain't getting younger so I apply pressure like a damn plunger They ain't for the culture, they all vultures They all vulgar, we need structure for these youngsters They all pumped up, pushing dumpsters See a cop then rush them, we need change but we all flustered It been this way since they call us color For about 10 summers, DJ Mustard The revolution still loaded like it got a buffer Now we gotta wear a mask to keep our face covered And they shooting us with bullets that's rubber We gotta be the keeper for our brother How we supposed to come together it's families that can't recover Still in mourning while we gotta suffer This the beginning till we see another So I've just pulled up at my friend Dave's uh, We're gonna go use his CNC plasma cutter today Cut some bits for the derby And uh, yeah, let's go have a look
So through mocking up, doing this rear suspension, I've been using the old coilovers that are on the car um, just for mocking up. I was always going to use something similar, um, but with a rose jointed end either end. But once I've mocked it all up and put these on, I thought I don't really like the look of them. They're a bit too long and it just look, didn't look right if I'm honest. <clears throat> so I went and got these. These are shocks off a CBR 600 and they're loads better. You've got adjustable bump and rebound, a remote reservoir, and they're much nicer the unit as well. The only problem I've got is the travel. These have got 111 mil of travel and these have got 60 mil of travel. So now I've got to redesign the rocker arms, which mount like so redesign them so this pivot is a bit further down so that 100 mil of travel at the wheel will give me 50 mil of travel at the shock so that's my next job
So after making the new rocker arms, they're hitting just here, which is really annoying. I've notched them out with a grinder, but it's not enough. And so when you jack the car up, they hit, which isn't ideal. So I've now got to redesign them again, third time lucky. Design them so they have a bit of a notch built in. I'm going to drop this hole back to here. And you can't see. Drop, move this hole, this point back 20 mil. And then, yeah. Also, the springs, even though they're off a motorbike, they're far too stiff. They're 600 pound springs. And when you fit them both, you can't hardly move the back end of the car. They're just rock solid. So I've got to change them for probably 300 pound springs. Bit of trial and error, but we'll figure it out. So that's about it for the rear suspension. Um, all the metal work's done. Well, I say most of the metal work. There's a few little finishing up jobs to do, but I won't bother boring you of them. I may add a few gussets just down the bottom, just to tie this, make a bit of triangulation in, tie this bar into the here, give it a bit more strength maybe. I'm not sure yet. Oh, and I've got to make some sort of mount just to hold the reservoir. I'll probably fire up the 3D printer for that. But other than that, I think we are pretty much there. Um, so yeah, on to the next job, which is this lot. So I've got some Wheelwood four-pot calipers, 
some rotors and a comp brake pedal box all got to be fitted to the car. I've got to design and make my own bells for the front discs which is going to be a bit of a challenge but that will be the next episode. I'll probably spread that out over a couple, maybe three, because there's going to be quite a lot of work in this. And just to keep it going, I'll just split it up into three videos, I think. So yeah, tune in, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.